What we've got is normally when you step on the scales, you've got one single weight there. Yeah, yeah? 50, so for you, that's 56 kilograms in weight. Now, as a crossfitter, that means absolutely nothing because you lift weights and you will increase your muscle mass and you'll increase your bone density to be able to compensate for that weight. So stepping on the scales is absolutely pointless for a crossfitter. All right. Um, and I appreciate this isn't going to be available to people all the time, but a tape measure is probably a better bet for you, for you guys from, mm -hmm. from here on in. All right. So that's your weight. Now, if we just like have five fingers and spread that across, this is your weight now broken down into different areas. Okay. Now the top two relate to your total body water. You can see there you've got total body water there. Yeah. So the top one is intracellular water. Second one is extracellular water. Probably doesn't mean nothing much at the moment, but okay. it's water inside your cells and water outside your cells. Okay, that will go up by lifting weight because your muscle is 70% water. Yeah. Okay, so the more muscle mass you put on, the more water you'll put on. So if you look over to the right, you've got like a normal range there. You'll probably find as a crossfitter, you're towards the upper end of the range on both of those, or sometimes exceeding it. For instance, mine exceeds it. Mm. Yeah, but that's not a bad thing, so that's not bad weight, okay? Which is another reason stepping on scales is pointless. You can lose weight, drink less, you know, but it doesn't mean you're going to be better or, or leaner. Next one down, protein in kilograms. Okay, again, I would expect as a CrossFit that to be fairly high because that relates to muscle. Yeah, you know, we drink protein to be able to improve our muscle mass and recover. Yeah, so 8.5 kilograms of your 56 kilogram weight is protein. Bone density, again, this one will be the high end of the range, which yours is, because you're lifting load. And that is good weight. If you can keep that bone density up, less risk of osteoporosis, less risk of osteoarthritis, better at the lifts to be able to cope with that, that extra load. So that's a bonus. Normally, the one we want to see go down is that one, that body fat mass, yeah? yeah. That's the one we mm. want to see go down. Not just for looking good, but also performance. If we can increase our muscle mass and drop the fat, we're going to be more efficient because the weight that you're pulling yeah or squatting is contractile fibers is muscle fibers that actually do the action not something that lays dormant fat yeah so your weight needs to be more efficient so not only will you look good you'll be better better performance all right so that's that's why this is this is so good looking across then at the top we've got the visceral fat area all right now you've got a 100 line going all the way across you want to be below that. The, the further away from that line, the better. Visceral fat is the fat in and around your organs and in your arteries. All right. Goes without saying, you want to keep that low. Yeah, simple. Coming down there, what we want to do on this one, or what we want you to do, is just draw a line between the ends of those. All right. And you can see there, I've drawn a line between those. On the uh, that's it. Just draw a line through the ends, just from from the peak oh, right. to peak to peak. So you'll end up with like a inverted V or yep. a D. How long have you been doing CrossFit, now? Since June. Since June. So for a, for a CrossFitter who's been doing this for since June is really really good for a female. We've got a straight line there. Oh, good. What we need to be aiming for more is a D like that. Yeah. Okay, which means that we've got more muscle mass, SMM, skeletal muscle mass, but more muscle mass and less fat. So your goal now is to change it to that sort of movement. Rather than all being in line with each other. That's right, but nevertheless, for someone that's been doing it since June, this is really good. Don't forget, I see a lot of people having a C, mm. which means less muscle mass, more fat. More fat. They've just got to swap those two over. All right, yours, you've got a, a D there as well. All right, just need to just push that out a bit more and the fat will come down. The bonus, the additional bonus of increasing your muscle mass is not only performance, but also it will speed up your metabolism. A faster metabolism will burn fat because muscle mass is living tissue, so it requires energy to be there. Unlike fat, doesn't require energy to be there. So by increasing that muscle mass, you will speed up your metabolism, 
and you will, by following paleo, you will burn more fat by increasing your muscle mass. So I would suggest doing some additional strength work to, to the wads. Open gym on a Saturday or whenever there's open gym, just adding mm. like some supplementary strength exercise, yeah, the compound movements. All right?